This unit is called Cycles in Nature. The name of this read aloud is titled The Cycle of Daytime and Nighttime. When something repeats or happens over and over again in the same order, it's called a cycle. There are cycles happening all around you all of the time. In all cycles, there's a starting point. Things in a cycle always come back to the starting point before starting over again. Can you think of some examples of events that you have learned about that repeat or occur over and over again in the same order? You may be thinking of the days of the week or even the cycle of school years. Cycles are series of events that repeat again and again in the same order. There are different kinds of cycles that occur in nature. Some of nature's cycles repeat quickly, whereas other cycles take longer to repeat. Some cycles take place every day and night. Can you feel the earth moving? Even though you cannot feel the earth moving, it's moving very quickly in two different ways. Earth rotates or spins around its axis, and it also orbits or moves in a path around the sun. You're going to learn over the next few lessons how these two types of movement are directly related to the cycle of daytime and nighttime, as well as to the cycle of the four seasons. Here are some vocabulary words in our read aloud today. The first word is axis. A real or imaginary central line around which an object spins. The next word is cycle. The period of time it takes to complete a sequence of events. And the last word is rotating. Turning around a central point. I want you to listen carefully to find out the main topic of this read aloud, as well as learn why intense or strong sunlight is so important to life on Earth. Let's begin. A cycle is like a circle that goes around and around. Just like there are circular objects that go around and around, there are also many natural cycles that occur on Earth that happen again and again too. A cycle is a sequence of events that repeats itself again and again. Just like you can pick any part of the circle to be the starting point, we choose one part of each natural cycle to be our starting point. This makes it easier to talk about all of the parts of the cycle. The most important thing to remember is that cycles always come back to the chosen starting point before starting over again. All living things are part of a cycle of life that keeps going around and around. What does this mean? It means that almost all living things are born, grow, reproduce, or make babies, and eventually die. The reproduction of living things is one way that life continues on Earth. A life cycle includes each stage that a living thing goes through from birth to adult. You will hear a lot more about life cycles later in this domain. First, there are other cycles in nature that make life on Earth possible too. Earth spins around and around, a never-ending cycle that shapes everything we do here on Earth. As Earth turns around, part of it faces the sun and part of it faces away from the sun. Can you guess what cycle happens when our part of Earth faces the sun and then rotates to face away from the sun? Did you guess the cycle of daytime and nighttime? The cycle of daytime and nighttime is the result of our planet rotating or spinning around an imaginary line called an axis. What's an axis? Well, 
Imagine a spinning basketball turning around and around. Then try to picture an imaginary line running through the basketball from the bottom to the top. That imaginary line is what we call an axis. Earth's axis passes through the north and south poles. It takes 24 hours for Earth to rotate or spin one time on its axis. Rotation is the movement of Earth on its axis. This controls the cycle of daytime and nighttime. Earth takes 24 hours to turn or rotate back to the position from which it started. Rotation takes us from daytime to nighttime and back to the very beginning of daytime again before the cycle starts over. As Earth rotates, light from the sun falls on one half of Earth. We call this daytime. The other half of Earth is in darkness and we call this nighttime. As Earth continues to rotate, the part of Earth that has sunlight moves into darkness and the part of that had darkness moves into the sunlight. This is a never ending cycle of daytime and nighttime. The cycle of daytime and nighttime begins with sunrise in the early morning. Sunlight hits our planet and moves across Earth from east to west. When we see the sun rising in the east in the morning and setting in the west in the evening, it is because of the Earth rotating or spinning. For people on Earth, it makes sense to say that the sun rises in the morning. Each morning at dawn, the sun appears in the eastern sky on the horizon. The horizon is the line we see in the distance where the ground meets the sky. At dawn, some people say, look, the sun is coming up. This first appearance of the sun above the eastern horizon is called sunrise. Over the course of the day, the sun appears to move across the sky gradually following its path from east to west. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. Ever so slowly, it gets lower in the sky and disappears below the horizon. That's when people say, the sun is going down. This disappearance of the sun below the western horizon is called sunset. Based on what we can see from where we live on Earth, it seems sensible to say that the sun moves across the sky each day, rising or moving up in the east and setting or sinking down in the west. But that's not actually true. It is the daily rotation or spin of the earth that makes the sun appear to rise and set each day. This daily rotation explains why there is always daytime and nighttime on earth. As it spins, certain parts of Earth's surface face the sun, receiving its heat and light. When it is light on one side of Earth, it is dark on the other side. So if it is daytime where you are right now, then on the other side of the Earth, it is nighttime, and the children there are sound asleep. And when you are nestled in your bed at night, Children on the other side of the planet will be waking up to a bright new day. How does the cycle of daytime and nighttime affect living things on Earth? The sun is extremely important to life on Earth. All plants, animals, and people rely on the sun in order to thrive or grow well. The sun's energy gives life to plants, which in turn nourish animals and people. The sun's heat keeps the surface of earth warm enough for plants and animals to survive. In the next few lessons, we will learn about how the sun affects living things throughout the four seasons. Here are some discussion questions. Feel free to pause the video in order to allow time to think and discuss.
What is the main topic of the read aloud? What is a cycle? What causes daytime and nighttime? How does the rotation of Earth cause daytime and nighttime? In terms of light, what is the difference between daytime and nighttime? How would life on Earth be different if Earth did not rotate?